senior citizens in the country are now assured of medical protection after retirement. Denise Otieno has more details of that and other stories in our Business News Roundup. This follows the launch of a cover by CIC Group targeting the elderly. The cover will benefit citizens aged between 60 to 80 years. CIC Group Managing Director Fred Roro says the product will be offering inpatient, outpatient, dental, optical and within East Africa the benefit of ambulance and air evacuation. The recurrent pandemic has just made the need more acute in the sense that we have been seeing the older people are more affected by the by the by the, by the pandemic. And Kenya Breweries has embarked on projects to support conservation efforts in the country. The brewers partnered with Kenya Wildlife Service to be involved in several community projects in line with current services efforts to maintain and support habitats around the Amboseli National Park. The government is investing heavily in the conservation sector and it is challenging uh, because you know their competing interests, health, education and others are competing interests with the conservation. This conservation is at the core of our business as a company and a key sustainability agenda for us. This was therefore not a difficult decision to make to support such an initiative. Elsewhere, Pan-African housing giant Shelter Afrique has received a capital boost from Tanzania. The East African nation has increased its shareholding to 1.5% from 0.3% held previously. This is after it paid 2.7 million US dollars or roughly 297 million Kenya shillings in additional capital. Finally, competition in Kenya's smartphone market has moved a notch higher with the official entry of Realme C219 phone into the Kenyan market. The launch of Realme C219 comes at a time when the mobile phone industry has been hit by challenges brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic, with buyers now cautious of their budgets as they seek affordable but quality phones. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.